Thank you all for joining us today. My name is Yosha Dotson, and I am the Graduate Recruitment Coordinator for the University of Georgia School of Social Work program. We are glad and excited that you're interested in the program. We're looking forward to answering all of your questions and getting to know you a bit better over the next several months. Um, in this type of setting where we are um, reaching out and allowing you to reach out to the faculty and connect with the faculty as well as staff at the School of Social Work to be able to answer your questions. I'm giving just another moment to admit um, those that are coming in. I will say this, our session today is going to be recorded. I will record everything except for the Q&A. So just so that you're aware, we will be recording today. Um, so I'm going to start um, by sharing my screen here so that we can have some conversation or have a conversation as it relates to um, what we are going to do today. Again, this is a recorded session. Um, if you are not speaking, I ask that you mute, make sure that your microphone is on mute. Be mindful of your background, the view of your background, as well as noise from your background. I am recording in what I think <laughs> is a way where only the speaker is being shown. Um, I am hoping that that is how it works out. Um, but just in case, again, be, if you want to be mindful of your backgrounds, that would be awesome. Um, and then if you could please just make sure we have your full attention. We wanna be able to make sure that all questions are answered. We are hoping to be able to provide you with as much information as we can while staying on our topic for today, which is the School of Social Work and UGA. Um, that's not to say that those are the only topics that you will hear, but um, if you could please, um, we would like to be able to get through as many questions as possible. And um, if we need to repeat something, we will, but we are hoping to be able to get you as much information as we can. If you need to, feel free to use the chat box in order to ask questions. Um, that will be one of the best ways to actually um, make sure that we see your question is the chat box. I am excited to have a guest panel with me today um, to talk again about UGA as well as the School of Social Work. That guest panel consists of our director, of the MSW program, Dr. Jennifer Elkins, um, Ms. Constance Wooden-Smith, who is an academic professor, uh, professional as well as the extended time coordinator on our Gwinnett campus, and Mr. Paul Middlehammer, who is an enrollment coach for our online program. And he does all of our enrollment for our um, online MSW. And I, I'm not sure if I introduced myself, but I am Yosha Dotson, and I'm an academic professional as well as the graduate recruitment coordinator. So here's just a little bit about the university. Um, wait, and before we go on, I'm going to back up just one moment. I actually want um, Dr. Elkins, Ms. Wooden-Smith, and Mr. Middlehammer to introduce and say anything about themselves that they would like to um, as we get started. Dr. Elkins, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. Once again, my name is Jennifer Elkins, and um, I'm really excited to, to get to know you all a little bit better today. I um, have been in the role of MSW Program Director for a few months now, and I've been here at UGA for about 10 years, almost exactly 10 years. Um, and uh, my area of scholarship and practice expertise is trauma and um, trauma-informed approaches to everything. Sorry, I should have planned this one better. <laughs> I'll stop here before I dig myself into a deeper hole. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Elkins. Miss um, Wooden-Smith. 
Hi, everyone. I'm uh, here at Gwinnett campus today. This is the extended time program. I've been here actually going into my fifth academic year. I come from here from many years of service and practice in public child welfare where I worked uh, across this great state of Georgia, had an opportunity to engage in ways that um, helped me to uh, grow myself as an individual in the practice of social work, as well as be able to support you all as you go through this program. So I'm academic advisor. I am also an instructor in this program and I administrate over the program on this campus. So again, welcome, and I uh, hope that some of you are interested in our part-time program. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mr. Middlehammer. Mr., just call me Paul, please. Um, so I've been with UGA for about three years working in the online learning office, but I have a experience in dealing with um, college admissions, financial aid. So if you have additional questions over and beyond about the financial aid process on today's um, session, I'm happy to answer those questions as well. And I won't say I'm the expert for the online learning program, but I know enough to put you in the right direction and answer your questions. If I don't know, I do know where to get the correct answers. So welcome and thanks for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you all for um, dedicating our giving your, of your time today. A little bit about the University of Georgia. Um, the University of Georgia is um, ranked 15th among best public national universities. Um, we also are among the best public colleges, um, ranked usually around 16th for that. For the MSW program specifically, we are constantly ranked among the top institutions that offer a master's degree in social work specifically. And currently we're ranked 12th among public institutions that offer a degree in social, a master's degree in social work. A couple other things about us in our program, we are fully accredited by CSWE. That is the governing body for education as it relates to social work in the country. One other thing about us is that we are, we abide by the code of ethics, the National um, Association of Social Workers Code of Ethics. If there's anything that we go through or to, Anything that you need to reference um, as you are in school, it would be referenced back from an ethical standpoint. It would be all referenced back to the code of ethics. Um, so here's something else um, that we wanted to make sure that we share around the School of Social Work is our faculty research. These are just some of our faculty research areas. Our faculty research and is really diverse, as is our faculty. And one of the things that I like to point to, and one of the things that I like to, to tell, um, tell potential students is to get on our website. It's listed here and actually look at who the faculty members are look at um, what they do. During your time getting an MSW, whether it be at UGA or somewhere else, during your time, you will spend a lot of time with the faculty. They will become the people who write letters of reference for you. They will become the people who um, are, are instructors for you. If there's something going on and you need to miss a class, they're the people that you will reach out to. If you're looking at getting a professional degree, one of the things that you want to make absolute certain you do is have some type of, have someone with the same interest that you have at the school that you choose. Um, I'm going to stop here and open it up. Um, do any of our panel guests have anything that they would like to add to this? I do, if it's okay. Um, yes, sure. I think that, uh, I've had a few students over the years, our faculty frequently, for the most part, are on the third floor who did, I, there were a couple of students who didn't know the third floor existed. And I promise, I, and what I can say is that 
you know, you're coming in possibly applying to an MSW program because you are, are pa feel passionately about a particular cause or issue. And I promise you that not only do your, the faculty and instructors and staff feel equally as passionately about these issues, we are fueled by your passion. So, so we always welcome, well, I can speak for myself. I always welcome the distraction of students from having to write papers and do research. So, so definitely, definitely take a look at what faculty are doing and reach out. You don't have to be a current student. If you're thinking of applying, reach out to perspective um, as a prospective student um, and uh, pick, pick our brains. Great point, Dr. Elkins, thank you. Did anyone else want to add anything? All right. So we'll delve just a little bit deeper into the MSW program offerings that we that we have at UGA. One of them is our full time program. As um, Miss Wooden Smith mentioned earlier, there's an extended time program, and then our online program, which is also extended time. Our full time program has two types of offerings. One is the full time for the four semesters, and then there's an offering for advanced standing as well. That offering for advanced standing is open to anyone who has a BSW agree, degree from an accredited school of social work, and it takes one semester off of that time. Um, Ms. Wooden Smith, would you like to tell them a bit more about the extended time program? Oh, yes. So it, as she was saying in Gwinnett, we also have the advanced standing, but our advanced standing runs two years part time. So this is for those who are working. And again, the same criteria that you have to have a BSW within the last five years from an accredited university um, with, a MS, uh, with a program in social work. Um, for our regular program, it, as she was saying, it's the same as the online except this is in person and online is online. And when they say online, they mean it's all online and Paul can probably speak to that. But our program is on our campus in Gwinnett. We are off of Old Peachtree Road um, 85 or right at Sugarloaf Mill um, Mall area. So we're in uh, the Gwinnett community. Uh, we have both uh, those who are full-time as well as part-time people in terms of working people. Uh, some people don't even work. A lot of times when people um, have children at home and they decide that um, I want to go to school in the evening to work on my degree because my children are in school during the day. And when I get home, I can go to, you know, when they get home, then I can go to school. So we do have that here as well. But one of the great options of Gwinnett is we have a three and a four year option for the part time extended time. Uh, and that helps you with your field placement in your last year. And that's the conversation as well as your um, not doing field in your second year, but starting it in your third year for your journalist placement. So we'll talk a little bit more about the program of study. But those are some things to know about our Gwinnett campus and the options we have. Again, advanced standing, which is two years the three-year regular program and our four-year extended time program for those who don't wanna go in the field immediately in their second year. Thank you. Um, Mr. Little, Paul, if you would please, <laughs> tell us about the online program, which we're really excited about because we've only just added our second cohort this year. And so um, we're excited about seeing that continue to grow. Thanks, Yosha. So it is 100% online. That's the question we always receive. And thank you, everybody, for reinforcing that. Um, it is a three-year program. First year is doing a lot of coursework. Year two and year three is a combination of coursework and your field placement. Um, the other thing I would suggest and say is that we follow an asynchronous delivery model for the online program, which the way I describe it to students is this. Each week, you go into the course portal 
professor is going to put out there what is the objective for the week what are they covering what's the work that's going to be reviewed and what is going to be the assignment that you can demonstrate to the professor that you have completed the work and are following on task with the rest of the class there will probably be a number of ways to interact with your classmates through posting um, we do hear a lot from some of our other online programs that a lot of times students in the class create their own separate chat so they um, connect outside of the classroom so that could happen as well um, so it is definitely interactive the other plug i will say for online students is that you also are connected to the university of georgia so as a U online student you have access to all of the uga um, services for students students that they have traditionally on campus and so you have access to it you'll just access it either through you know, connecting with offices through the phone or Zoom or other ways, but you have full-fledged um, ability and services as a UJ online student. Thank you. And since we're talking about campus facilities and access, um, one of the things that I like most about the Athens campus is the lounge space. We are in a building that was an old mill. There's a good bit of history to that building that um, that as, as social work, we are doing some things to reclaim um, while also acknowledging right the history of the building that we are in. At the same time, um, it is a place to be able to, particularly the lounge space, is a place to be able to come and gather as students together, to be able to discuss and talk and um, prepare for class. It's a space where we come to talk about social justice issues and, and things of that nature. And so it's a really um, nice open space. Well, it's in the basement, but it doesn't look dark because there's such huge windows down there. Um, we also have a couple of different computer labs and, and computer spaces. You have access to the libraries, et cetera, that are on campus. I think there are about nine libraries on campus. There's graduate school housing if you need it. And again, you have access to all of the student support services that are offered with being on campus. Um, Ms. Wooten-Smith, do you wanna chat just a bit about um, what's offered on the um, Gwinnett campus? Yes, we have a great campus uh, is because it is a more um, a different setting than it is in Athens. We're not on a college campus like a regular campus. We actually sit in a building that is a it looks like an office building. But one of the perks of being here at our campus is that there's free parking, which is not free in Athens. <laughs> the other perk that you get is that the modernness of the building we're Leeds building, so we're very sustainability as well as recycling conscious around uh, this campus. It's very open and uh, we have like a, it's very UGA like on the first floor. We do have our own virtual library with our own learning resource support person. Mr. Uh, C is what we call him. He's there to help you, particularly if you haven't been in school in a long time, need to learn about APA style writing, you need to just help with writing, learning how to research. He will do one-on-one -on -one support with you. We offer classes here for you as you transition in that allow you with both. We teach both. You wouldn't believe it. We teach life skills type, uh, things because we share this space with 13 different degrees. So it's not just the MSW program. You have the PhD programs that are offered by other colleges. So you'll see a lot of educators here because um, the Mary Early School of education has several degrees here that they offer for teachers. We, um, Gwinnett County Schools, uh, we see a lot of their teachers as well as other school system teachers. Everybody uses this space for training because they love our classroom space. You will love the classrooms here. They're spacious, they're nice, they're well kept and maintained and clean. Not saying Athens isn't, it's just a, a nice space. We also have a vending area. And also it sort of looks like a little bit of like a, a restaurant. We have an area where you can sit because we know our students come in from work and you need to um, you know, do your dinner. So there's microwaves, there's refrigerator for you to put your lunch or dinner in. Uh, if you're here on a Saturday by chance, which is usually in the spring semester where we have Saturday classes. We do offer a way for you to 
you know, just enjoy being a adult in a college student area. Uh, so the MBA programs are here. So you will meet various people. And we often allow students, I've helped students connect with others that they have an interest in just because we share this space, not just with uh, UGA, we share this with other colleges. So there are other colleges in this area that you may not know about, but there are other colleges. They may be online schools. They may be brick and mortar schools, but we are a shared space for the community. So you will love that we do offer the healthy habits. When COVID environment is not here, we have massages for students. You can sign up. Uh, we have the bikes that you can ride and put your computer on and you can study or read from your laptop. Uh, we have also computers for you to use. We have uh, ports everywhere for all kind of connectivity as, where, as well as wireless. Uh, again, it's a great environment and we have our own student services support and we also use the student care and outreach services that are available on the Athens campus. Uh, but anyway, enough said, again, I love UGA Gwinnett. It's a beautiful campus. It is indeed. And whenever I was in the program, I took advantage of all of those services. Although I was a full-time student, I did, because I lived in the metro area, I would come up and do studying at um, the Gwinnett campus and I enjoyed those services. Miss <laughs> um, Paul, if you could please um, tell us a bit about the amenities and uh, you already have really the things that they have access to in the online program. Um, I would just highlight also that there is a dedicated resource in the library um, for distance or for the online students. Um, they are available to help you with any of your research initiatives that you have in any of your courses. They also have ways to um, help you with access to other um, publications and services. So we have a little orientation um, information session that's done online for online students um, so that they are connected with the appropriate online services. Thank you. All right. Can I make a point about the same curricula? Yeah. That's all right. Because, um, you know, and maybe I'm not supposed to say this, but a lot of um, online programs are have contracted with big companies that have prefab um, content that is different than in person. However, one of the things as someone who is um, not 100% initially in board on online, um, what I really love about our online program is that the faculty who are teaching the classes in person are the ones developing the content. So it really, it, the same, I teach human behavior in the social environment, the same exact class that I teach in person is online. And that is absolutely not a given in many different programs. Thank you. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, go ahead, um, Ms. Wood. One thing I want, I saw somebody put something about, can they apply for the online? You And I guess we probably will say this at the end, applications are open, but we take students in, uh, we do acceptance in the spring and Ms. Uh, Dotson will be showing a slide about that in a minute in terms of the deadlines and, and when you get decision. But uh, we're not like Dr. Elkin said, regular online programs. So we don't rotate acceptance we come in in the fall, and the only people who come in in the summer are advanced standing. Advanced standing students come in in the summer. Uh, students who are in the regular uh, program, both Gwinnett and Athens, both start at the same time in the fall on the same days. So we are not a rolling um, acceptance like many of the online. And, and I think that's what Dr. Elkins was also saying about how you know, who developed the curriculum, but also the fact is how it's formatted. So we all run the same curriculum. So it's consistent, no matter if you graduate from the online program, you graduate from the um, the Athens program or the Gwinnett, you're going to have the same coursework and it's going to be on this in the same process. You start in the fall. Thank you. Thank you for um, for mentioning that, that we are on a cohort model. And so the other thing is that all of the students matriculate through the program at the same time as well. What is important about that is that when you apply, 
if you apply for online versus um, in-person versus or full-time versus extended time, that you are expected to utilize that program throughout your tenure or throughout the time that you matriculate through the program. And it's for the reason that, that Ms. Wooden-Smith just mentioned. There are three different areas of micro practice, I mean, of specialization um, for the school. I will go through these very quickly because we're not gonna spend a lot of time today necessarily on the social work profession. Um, but I will say this, micro practice is what a lot of people think about whenever they say social work. It is, off, it is working with families, individuals, counseling, um, case management, therapy. That is what it encompasses. And it is offered across all three of our programs, the Athens, Gwinnett, and online. Our macro practice specialization is offered on our Athens campus only. That is more of policy. It is more of program evaluation and program development. It is a bit more of um, designing or implementing services. Those things are considered macro practice. And again, it is offered at the Athens campus only. And then we also have our combined track, our combined curriculum, where you can take classes in both tracks to be able to um, kind of round out your education. I think of this as making you more competitive whenever you start thinking about your professional career track. I think of it as being um, able to apply or, or having um, the skills and knowledge to apply both macro and micro practice um, whenever you're done with your degree. Doing this track does not, uh, doing this specialization does not add any time to your uh, program, your degree program at all. <clears throat> Anything else that anyone would like to add with regards? Um, I guess I'll, this person um, asked the question, what, do, uh, what does the MSW program look like for a full-time employee? Can we answer that later? Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, okay, we'll answer that later. Okay, thank you. The only thing I can say is that everyone says this, but um, micro and macro are integral to have both in your practice. It's an artificial separation. Yeah. Um, the purpose of that second year, the specialization year though, is to give you a little bit of a, in the words of the program, specialization in one of those areas more so than the other. But, but I think very much, um, you know, we we operate from a more holistic perspective that you have to have each one of these micro, meso, macro, all of the different perspectives. Yeah, thank you for that, Dr. Elkins, because one of the other things that we noticed or one of the other things that we're fully aware of is that um, whenever the students start out, they actually all start out on the same exact track. You don't declare your specialization until you are in your second year or headed into your second year or your specialization year. And then field education. Our field education is um, one of our chief pedagogies. It is, you start in week seven of your very first semester going into field. You have a placement in fall and spring during your generalist year. You have us during your specialization year, you have the same placement during um, both semesters starting as soon as the semester starts. There's a class that also goes along with field education for us. Um, there are some nuances to field education when we start talking about the online program as well as the extended time um, Gwinnett program. So um, we'll let's reserve that so that we can talk about it as we get into questions, Q&A. Uh, we also offer several different degree, uh, dual degree options. There's the JD, which is the jurisprudence degree, and the MSW, the MDiv and MSW, as well as the, the very popular MSW MPH, which is done with the School of Public Health. For any of our dual degrees, you have to apply to each school separately. 
and you will be admitted to each school separately. But they have an agreement such that classes taken in one or the other qualify you as having completed in both schools. And we say that's only in the Athens full-time program or the advanced standing, not in the uh, Gwinnett or the online. Thank you. We also offer certificate programs. We're getting into those things now that I feel like help make your education your own. These are things that you can select to do that will, again, based on your interest in those types of things, they help make you um, bring additional knowledge to your practice, whether it be micro or macro practice. They also help to make you more competitive as you start looking at um, your professional career. And so I have asterisks here because the MFT, the online or the nonprofit, the substance use and gerontology are offered uh, in all of our programs, disabilities, no, in Gwinnett. <laughs> so Gwinnett, we have marriage and family therapy certificate. We have nonprofit uh, certificate. We also have the substance use. You can do the gerontology. It may take you a few more extra courses. But yes, those are options that are available in the Gwinnett. Online um, does have substance use mm -hmm. and they have nonprofit. They do not have marriage and family or any of the other ones. Gerontology would be also something you would have to talk to Ms. Janae Brown Ryan about, but it would also not necessarily be in it, but it does have a large uh, component of online courses, but it is with a separate school. So it is not our own program that we manage alone. It is one of our partnerships as well. Okay, thank you for the clarification. And I will make sure to go back and add an additional asterisk for the online programs or the certificates offered online. And then there's study away, um, which again, can, which is our May semester. It is offered um, currently, I think Northern Ireland is the only one that we may still be doing, but we've been, again, with COVID, we weren't able to do our May semesters um, last year or this year. Application process, there is an application fee. Um, the GRE is optional, completely optional. The main things here that I want to point to are your letters of recommendation and your personal narrative. As it relates to, we do a holistic view of your application. These two things, the letters of recommendation and your personal narrative are, I would say weighted most heavily as it relates to the application process. Please, please, please remember to choose folks and individuals who can, who can really write good letters of recommendation for you. And by that, I mean people who can speak to your, um, to your skill, skills as it relates to social work as a, as a profession. Um, who, who can talk about your interests. Two things that we never recommend is that you don't utilize a therapist, your personal therapist, and you don't utilize therapy or a clergy unless you are specifically applying for the MSWM div. The other thing that I want to point to here is your personal narrative. I say it this way quite often. Someone else can have all of the same job titles. They can have made every salary that you have. They can have volunteered at all the same places. What they cannot tell us is why you want to be a social worker. Utilize that personal narrative, utilize those questions to be able to really talk about why you want to be in this profession and what you will bring to this profession. Any other thoughts? There are funding opportunities. Again, we will have a couple of different sessions um, toward the end of the year where we can talk more specifically and in depth about these funding opportunities. Please, please join us for those. They will go very deep and detailed and, and the 
the um, coordinators for these programs and funding opportunities will um, be available for you to ask them questions about their application processes, about deadlines, et cetera. So please make sure to join us for those. Um, we offer graduate assistantships, funded training programs where you do a year of um, funding for school for a year of work. And um, the Dean has research and service awards as well as scholarship offerings. If we are going to, there's one other thing that I wanted to say about this. Our funding is completely different from the grad school funding. You can go onto the grad school's website and they offer all of the, or a lot of the similar types of funding, but you have to be, um, be very um, diligent to make sure that you don't miss the deadlines for that funding. One, one person find... asked a question. I'm sorry. Oh, one person asked the question, was it covered by TAP? Yes, we have. We always have TAP students, and, it's, and that's for people who are employed by any of the University System of Georgia. They get free tuition uh, for some programs, not all, but yes, we are a covered program. Yes, thank you. And where do you find, I, I mentioned that there are other programs coming up, that there are other um, sessions coming up. If you go onto our website under our admissions tab, MSW admissions under our admissions tab. Here you can find all of our informational webinars. We also have them on our events tab. And you can also find more in-depth conversations with regards to a specific program here under our center sessions. So our connect will connect you about various information and, topic, and topics. And our center is if you want to know about a specific program more in depth. We're going to center that program for you. With that, I will open our dialogue for questions. Um, please, what questions do you have? 